Hello there, Pisces. So I want you to just focus on that and try to actively, you know, pursue and only focus on things and to channel your energy towards like things that are within your control to change. Okay. I feel some blockages coming through and um, as a result of it, it can be very frustrating. And um, I also feel that whenever you have worries and anxiety, it can also manifest in physical symptoms as well. Um, that tends to happen a lot with um, with water signs. It can affect your ability to fully, you know, live in the moment and be able to enjoy your life. When it comes to like uh, fire signs, um, a lot of fears, anxieties can also manifest in fevers. So if you're dealing with um, a fire sign, I'm, I'm feeling, you want to just really um, keep in mind that um, when they're sick or when there are troubles associated with them, um, they, they might need some, some like taking care of, okay? Like they may need another person by their side to take care of them. So, um, but in general for you, because you're a water sign, I feel that it would be best not to dwell on those things. I know it's hard, but not to dwell on those things and divert your energy towards things that you cannot change at this present moment, okay? Um, some house issues is coming through. Some in, in terms of like the physical dwelling or the people that you consider family members, some worries, some anxieties on their end, as well as some blockages when it comes to, you know, having meaningful, fruitful conversations, okay? So let's just go into this spread and see what's going on for you guys um, for this month of June 2016. So the first thing here is that um, I do see some communication coming through from another person, and I do feel that um, somebody is... Um, coming through either to provide some type of like uh, organization in your life and we have the page of the page of swords as well as the queen of cups so the queen of cups i'm reading this as your energy and what you're bringing to the table as well as the princess of swords which is the page of swords now what i feel first of all is um there is an, an air sign in your environment, and this is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. This uh, could be, you know, an air sign or somebody that is helping you, um, like giving you some type of formal legal advice, or it could some be somebody that is helping you put things into perspective, okay? So they can also, like, bring you a little bit um, more of a gra grounded, a more mental energy so that you can sort things out, so that you can troubleshoot, so that you can also compartmentalize and, you know, like, um, uh, rather than, than, I guess, like, letting your fears, your anxieties, and, you know, the, the mental restless energy overwhelm your life, I feel like this person is basically telling you to pull that energy down and, once again, Focus on things that you can change and let things that are outside of your control, leave them on the back burner for now, or at least, you know, not try to manage everything that's going on in your life because I do feel that you are going to feel a little bit overwhelmed and emotionally destabilized as a result. What I'm also sensing as well is this is going to be a very, very emotional time for you. With the Queen of Cups here, this is somebody that is very nurturing, very uh, loving. I do feel a lot of you are trying to reach out to another person, not necessarily an air sign. A lot of you are trying to reach out to a person in your environment. You're trying to offer them love, forgiveness, support. I feel as well that your advances or your, um, your outreach is not appreciated by this person at this time. They are trying to handle their own problems. They are trying to sort out their own feelings as well. And as a resort of it, whatever you you are trying to um, do for them, whatever you're trying to you know show them or to to reach out to them about, I don't feel they are completely receptive. So once again, when dealing with another person, if they're not in that frame of mind or in that mental space or emotional space to receive you, it is really important for you to just accept that. Okay, I've tried my best. I have already done everything that I could on my end. So it is up to them now to, you know, the balls in their court. When they are ready, they will reach out to me. And if they're not ready, if they're not ever going to be ready, I'm okay with that. And I know that it's it's hard to to live and let other people be because I feel like a lot of you are potentially offering 
you know, like I, I'm sensing peace offering. I'm sensing like um, forgiveness. I'm, I'm sensing just reaching out to another person and, you know, trying to have a conversation with them, trying to reconcile with them or trying to like, um, trying to just um, normalize a significant relationship in your life. And this can be any type of family, love, you know, former love relationship as well. But I, I do feel that your efforts are not being received well at this present time. So I do feel that as a result of it, you want to just really focus on things you can change, okay? Um, like I said, I feel like it is going to be an emotional month for you, mainly because, you know, your card is coming out um, from the very get-go. So wh which would indicate to me that um, for a lot of you, you might have some communication as well coming in from another water sign. And um, in the past, there might have been problems. In the past, there might have been problems with this person in terms of... Um, I see like balance in the relationship, give and take, uh, compromise. A huge part of it has to do with compromise and two people being on very, very different uh, wavelengths and two people prioritizing very different things. So as a result of it, there is some um, blockages when it comes to reaching out to another person, okay? Now, in terms of your external energy, we do have the lovers as well as the king of wands. The king of wands is a fire sign. This is a um, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. A lot of you are reaching some type of a crossroads with this person. And this is one of those um, major, major turning points in this interpersonal relationship with um, this fire sign. Uh, this fire sign is I feel that, you know, usually fire signs are very, like, um, um, dynamic. They're go-getter. This person is taking a step back from you. I do feel they are assessing a situation. They're getting, like, um, the lay of the land before they will invest. They're trying to see what you are planning to do. If this is a brand new person in your life, I do feel that it comes out most as a romantic partner. Um... I feel as well there are have been a lot of challenges in getting this relationship to uh, smooth itself out. There has been a lot of challenges to get this relationship off the ground as well. We do have the lover's card and the lover's card deals with two people that are like uh, compliments to each other. Two very, very different, you know, um, the the yin and the yang energy, feminine, masculine, as well as um, polar opposites as well coming together. And the one thing that brings it together is I definitely feel a lot of sexual chemistry, a lot of physical attraction, as well as a lot of, um, like, it, it sort of almost seems to me like polar opposites attract. Now, you are a water sign, and this person is a fire sign, so already it tells me you're polar opposites. I definitely feel a lot of interference happening, possibly um, from this person's um, environment as well, that is preventing the situation from coming together. If this is somebody that you've been dealing with for quite some time, I do feel a... Um, geographical, a physical separation, as well as an emotional rift that is coming through, and that is uh, a major source of contention as well. I do feel some worries and anxiety on your end regarding this person's whereabouts. I don't know if they have recently escaped, or I I'm getting the word escaped, if they have recently um, removed themselves from the picture, or if they have recently left the home there's some element about you know if this is somebody you've been dealing with, with for quite some time especially in any type of an interpersonal relationship this is something that is um has created a lot of worries a lot of um, anxieties and a big burden on your heart so i do feel some separation if that's the case okay if it's a new person i do feel some difficulties in getting the relationship off the ground if this is somebody that has recently emerged in your life within the past few months and you're having more of a physical connection than anything else i do feel that this is the month in which you can decide whether or not this is worth the relationship um, it is worth the trouble because I, I do feel this is a good person. I do feel they are very grounded, they are very generous, and they are a very, very loving 
person, but I do feel that it is based on purely on a chemical, on a um, physical attraction level, which doesn't bode well for longevity, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, depending on where you fall in the spectrum, whether or not this is somebody you were, have been dealing with, I do feel that you might have a child with this person, and I do feel as well there are some major, major crossroads um, regarding this relationship. I feel some type of a geographical distance or a physical distance between the two of you. In terms of your finances, we do have here the Ten of Pentacles as well as the Seven of Swords. So this is not going to apply to everybody, but the first message that I'm getting here is there is some type of um, either financial instability that is coming through for this month regarding your financial situation, okay? A lot of you, you might be considering, and it's funny because this card, this Ten of Pentacles, um, has been coming out for a lot of signs since last month and it deals with the family unit it deals with generational wealth it deals with like um, money and finances that are gained through you know like a, a family unit okay there are definitely some imbalances within the family structure family dynamics so for example if you are in a married relationship I feel that there's some discord regarding how uh, one partner or both partners are spending money. There is a, a major rift regarding some disputes about finances um, Usually when the seven of swords come out, I would say this is like the sneaky energy somebody is being very cunning swirling money away or they are trying to uh, get away with some type of financial transaction that would benefit them but would hurt the other party so this energy can flow both ways, but I do feel there is definitely some type of a sneaky discord, discourse, excuse me, regarding financial earnings, regarding who owns what, and, and things like that. So this is happening within your family environment. Um, the overall message that I'm getting for others of you who are not dealing with this sneaky energy is that I feel almost as if the family unit itself um, within the family unit itself I feel that somebody is taking shelter away from this sneaky energy okay so if you have been wronged in the past I feel that you are returning to your family unit to get away from the troubles that other people are bringing into your life, okay? You're turning to your family for support system, for for emotional support or physical support or even financial support. Somebody in your midst as well is also turning away from you in order to retreat back to their family for emotional, financial, and physical support. So I definitely feel that um, the family dynamics, somebody is like withdrawing, to get away from an external environment that was not conducive for their emotional well-being. Um, this is a good month for you to get back to your roots. This is a good month for you to surround yourself with family members and especially if you trust them, if you if you need support from them, this is a good month for you to retreat, okay? On the other hand, I do feel as well for a small minority, there might be some type of a situation where someone in your midst, this could be you or it could be someone in your midst, in which the family unit has turned their back on, on, on that person. Okay? Um, so that's what I'm seeing overwhelmingly with this energy here. We have a lot of family cards that are falling out as well. We do have the Hierophant next with the Ace of Wands. And both of these cards together are very, very good cards. The Hierophant indicates some type of institutional setting. The Ace of Wands indicates new projects. For those of you who are working with like a, a bigger corporation, a bigger company, there are many, many new projects in the works for you and you're going to be able to pick and choose what you want to do and where you want to focus your energy. So the work environment looks very good. And also, um, I forgot to to say that 
for a lot of you in terms of financial procurement. Your finances look stable to me. It does look stable. However, I do feel there is some type of a negotiation where you are going to have to outshine other people in order to land projects, okay? So in order to do... Uh, as the result of doing that, you are going to be able to land new projects if you're working for more of a bigger company rather than a mom and pop shop or like um, a contractor. If you're linked up with some type of bigger institution, this could be education, this could be in government sectors as well. There's new projects, there's new insights and energies coming through for you. On the other hand, what I do feel is um, the Hierophant, once again, also indicates. Um, family institutions okay so this is like marriage institutions family institution some type of a cohesion coming through where there might be uh, people being added to the family unit added to the marriage so that means um, it could also indicate you know proposals and things like that adding somebody into your household environment okay via children via spouses via um, adoptions as well so that's what I'm, I'm sensing here um, I do feel for a lot of you, um, I'm getting an element of sacrifice when it comes to the family unit. Making, you know, concessions and making long-term sacrifices in order to keep the family together, in order to stabilize either the work environment or the home environment. You are really going to have to pick and choose your battle for this month, okay? And don't... Um, scatter your energy on things that you cannot change. Uh, whenever the Hierophant or the Emperor shows up in a reading, it usually indicates to me some type of divine intervention and some type of divine blockages. I was sensing some blockages when it comes to your efforts, so you really want to pick and choose your battles and not, um, I guess, like um, waste your energy by focusing on things that you cannot change, okay? So in terms of your advice cards, let me just turn these over. We do have the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords, once again, is basically the end of an era, the end of a chapter in your life. I do feel that for a lot of you, you are going to have to uh, rewrite new chapters. You are going to have to start over. And I do feel for those of you who have not been above board with all the things that you are doing in terms of finances, in terms of um, some type of family situation, I do feel that um, karma is catching up, all right? And obviously, I hope that is a very, very small minority of you, but I definitely feel that this is the end of an era. Things are going to have to right themselves, and you are going to have to encounter a new phase when it comes to some type of divine intervention coming into your life because you were headed the wrong way. For others of you who are not dealing with this, I do feel some type of a breakdown within the family unit. I do feel some type of a communication blockage coming through from another person. And I feel it is really important for you to just um, admit to yourself that this situation is not going to change now or in the future. So you are going to have to uh, leave it behind. Um, for a lot of you, there is, what I'm seeing is, you know, a lot of um, water and fire that came out very early on in the spread. And communication between you, which is the water, and also um, communication within another person, which is the fire energy. You're dealing with somebody who is potentially very, very upset. I feel, I don't, feel, I feel that from your end, you're very worried, and from their end, they're very upset. So when that happens, it indicates to me that you know communication is just not going to work out. And I feel that it is really important for you to um, come to the point where you are accepting the fact that this situation, it might not change in the future, okay? So it is the end of major, major um, communication, like um, discord within, you know, you between that interpersonal relationship. And as much as you want to bridge the gap and the rift, I don't feel that it's possible for you, and especially not for this month, okay? And I do feel that this has been an ongoing issue, and it does emotionally destabilize you. It has emotionally destabilized you in the past, 
and as well for this month so it is really important for us to admit I guess like almost like admitting defeat I don't want to say defeat mainly because you know a lot of the times these things are just outside of our control and we have to you know accept the fact that it is out of our control and there's nothing we can do about it okay um, Pisces it's really really important for you to just pick your battles and you know don't waste your energy don't uh, invest your energy in situations that don't have a happy outcome and I feel like on an intuitive level you know what those relationships are you know who they are the people are that are involved and it's best for you to just let it let it go let it out uh, leave it out of your life okay if you are able to do that we have some very good information coming through as well we have the world card I'm sorry we have the wheel of fortune as well as the world card so for a lot of you once you are able to let this thing end you have a lot of new energies that are like coming in right on the heels of that so the wheel of fortune indicates um, your luck turning around so if you've been on the uh, bottom of the wheel where you were dealing with a lot of like you know hitting your head against a brick wall pushing a boulder up a hill where things you are hoping to implement has been stalled delay and things like that this is the month in which you're going to start to gain traction however if within the past few months and years you have been on top of the world where you were coasting and you were not um, uh, in a situation where you know you were I guess like um, accountable for your actions then I do feel that um, it's going to take a turn for the worse. So you want to do some auto correction when it comes to the beginning of this month to try to mitigate the effects, okay? It's really important to reflect back on our lives because the Wheel of Fortune does indicate actions and consequences. And the universe always has a way to balance out the karmic scale. So you want to be careful the universe's way of intervening when we let a situation drag on too long. Um, so for singles, for singles, completely singles who are looking, I'm actually going to pull out a few more cards for you because I feel like this pertains more to people who are either have somebody in mind or are kind of uh, dealing with some, you know, residual court situation with a significant others. So let me see purely singles, singles, no problems and, you know, just trying to get out on the dating scene. Okay, so we've got new love situation here. So we have the lovers, the queen of swords, as well as the two of swords. So the first thing that I'm sensing here is, um, I feel for a lot of you, you've been through this, either in the recent past or in the far away past, you are coming into new love relationships with a lot of skepticism, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like it's actually good for you, Pisces, to, um, you know, be a little bit more objective and to also use this more, um, to be more objective and also um, discerning when it comes to new relationships. You have something, a new person coming through. We have the lover's card, which deals with, like, a very, very good, attractive, like, um, a relationship potential or feeling that spark of passion with another person a lot of you might be dealing with a fire sign we have here the two of rods or an air sign Aquarius Gemini Libra so this is brand new energies that is coming through I do feel you are more level-headed and a lot more objective about you know whether or not this person meets the requirement for you to date them long term a lot of you are at a point where you are looking for more stability and you are also, you know, you're not going to be foolish and just, you know, rush in head first and then be disappointed. So you're doing some methodical, you know, planning when it comes to entering new relationships. There's definitely that spark of passion, meeting somebody who is, you know, really right for you, who sparks your passion, who sparks your interest. What I'm feeling is there are a lot of residual issues within your own life, whether on the career front or whether there is like a geographical distance between the two of you. Um, I do sense that in terms of your career, that's pretty much on the front burner for this month. And as a result of it, you might not be, you know, 100% emotionally invested in a relationship. What I'm also sensing as well, and once again, um, single Piscean women... 
I feel that you are very, very sexually attracted to a partner, like a new, this is like you're having some type of a fling with a new person. Um, you don't see any long-term potential in them. You're just having fun. There's nothing wrong with that. I do see that coming through for a lot of you where the person doesn't meet all of your requirements and you're just having fun. So, you know, I, I feel that happening more, more for Piscean women rather than Piscean men. I feel some Piscean men dealing with some um, legal issues, legal issues that is affecting love relationships okay so it doesn't matter what gender you date i feel like piscean self-identified piscean women you you're having fun you're having fun in piscean men um, there might be restrictions within the dating environment i do see some work situation legal issues okay week of june at this point there are a few uh live readings available but all the video readings are booked until like july um I do wish you the best. T take care of yourself, Pisces.